If the vents have got circular holes, then we need to know the diameter of the hole in millimetres. And if the diameter's 8 millimetres, and there are 40 holes, then the vent is equivalent to 20.1 centimetres squared. Again, for purging, this is a good calculator for purging, you put an X in the box with what type or size of metre that you've got. So we'll call this one a U6 metre, so we put an X in there. And then you put in the metre lengths of pipe that you have. So we've got 12 metres of 15, I've got 15 metres of 22, I've got 6 metres of 28, and I've got 2 metres of 35. Once we start getting into pipes that are bigger than 28 millimetres, such as the 35 mil pipe, and metres that are bigger than the G4 or the E6, and we've got a U16 in there, then it will start to work out a purge volume. If I take that length for the 35 out, you will see that it goes back to the normal purge volumes, and for a metric metre, it's always 0 0.010 metres cubed, and for an imperial metre, it's 0 0.335 sorry, 355 of a metre cubed. We can also put in if we've got any steel pipe, and it will also do the calculations. But as soon as we add bigger pipe in, it then works out what your purge volume should be. And at the bottom, it tells you whether it's okay for a domestic engineer to work on it, and what type of purge you should be doing. Because the volume is less than 0 0.02, we do a normal purge from the f furthest practical point um, and making sure that we uh, air it. For the pipe sizing in copper, we need to know the gas flow required in metres cubed per hour for each of the appliances. So starting at the metre, if it's feeding two appliances and we've got three metres cubed, And then the T off is split down and one appliance is 2 metres cubed and the other appliance is 1 metre cubed. We can then put in the length of the pipe that we have from this first point to the T piece where it splits to go to these two appliances. So for I'm going to say I've got 9 metres of pipe and I have got 5 elbows. Now 5 elbows and or a T that I'm going round the corner, we always make them half a metre. So 5 elbows is equivalent to half a metre for each one is 2.5 metres. That gives me a total of length of 11.5. And if I'm assuming that for this size I'm going to use 22 millimetre pipe, it will then tell me what my pressure drop would be on the line. Now for this, my chart allowable length would be 15 metres. I'm only running 11.5, so I've got a 0.77 millibar drop. We then go on to stage 2, so for this appliance, for argument's sake, it's going to a boiler, um, and I have got 6 metres of pipe going to the boiler, with 5 elbows again, so we'll just put in 2.5. And I'm going to assume I'm taking 22 to the boiler. Now straight away you can see there that I've got 0.77 coming up to the T-piece, and then another 0.28. Now if I add those two together, which I put the crosses in here, I get 1.05. That's a bit too much. So I need to increase one of the pipe sizes. I wouldn't increase my second pipe going to the boiler, so I'm going to increase the pipe diameter of the first pipe coming from the meter. And we'll change it to 28mm pipe. And you can now see that the drop has went down to 0.38mm drop, 0.28 for the second stage, and both of those added together gives me 0.67. This last stage, for argument's sake, going to a cooker, um, I have got, let's put in 5 metres of pipe, and I've got four elbows this, t this time and a T-piece to go around. Um, four elbows and a T-piece is still going to be 2.5 metres. And we're going to assume that it's 15 millimetre pipe this time. Once we work that out, we've now got half millibar drop for this bit of pipe work. So if I add the two X's together, that X and that X there, from the metre to appliance 2, I've got a 0.88 millibar drop. And because it's less than one millibar, it's all okay. That's the pipe sizing. The combustion performance analysis is pretty straightforward. Um, off our fluid gas analyzer, we'll be able to put in the CO2. Now, for a condensing boiler, you're probably looking at something in the region of 9.2 for the CO2. 
with the carbon monoxide being less than 250 parts per million if it's running correctly. Um, so we'll say that it's 200 parts per million. The O2 content really doesn't make too much um, in this calculator, but you're expecting something around about 4% being left over. From there it works out the auto CO CO2 ratio, which is 0 0.002, and then if we check it against our boiler, 0 0.008 is what we're allowed, therefore it becomes a pass. You can see that if it does become lower, such as a full space heater is only allowed 0 0.001, it becomes a fail and we need a complete service and retest on the appliance. And this is a nice indicator to see whether it's passed under the British standards. The last section is pipe sizing again, but this one is for steel pipe. The calculator works exactly as it does with the pipe sizing for copper pipe. You just input your details and it will tell you. The only difference is you need to convert your eighth quarter, three eighth, to the metric equivalent. So in here we're going to use 20 millim or 22 or 25 millimeters. This has been a small run through on the vent calculator um, which is available at the website www.gb-gas.co.uk